and welcome along and welcome back to six ashes we have uh, got a few changes today we've got our three tractors here i'm so pleased with our fleet now uh, we got 68 10 our 78 40 and our tw25 we also have 50,000 in the bank which is uh really cool i'm so i'm so pleased at how well the carrots went in the end um what we still have left though as we enter early winter is a pile of canola here which is completely and utterly in our way a pile of oats that are in the wrong place and down at the other farm we have a pile of uh, soybeans that will need selling at some point in about six months time so everything is in the wrong place we also have if we look at our sales charts today the peak for canola we are at the peak for canola so we want to uh, i think what we're going to do is start off with hooking up our 6810 today getting this uh onto the trailer and then using the 7840 and loading up our trailer with uh probably a couple of loads of canola uh we could do an auger we could use an auger to do it and i think going forward we might uh, but i need to rethink the farm a little bit uh and i need to and what what we need is three thousand pounds we get three thousand pounds of the bank we can head over and sell off the uh silage today as well so that is my plan is that we're going to get the canola sold uh we're going to get uh all loaded up and done and then we're going to go and sell the silage and then what we need to do before we end today uh is we have got to sort out our horses now we just had a great demand come up what is our great demand that is for wheat we don't have wheat so that is fine there are no other great demands kicking about no so the great demand is for wheat that makes no difference but oh wow i've just seen the great demand for wheat if we had wheat on here we would be looking at a thousand pound a liter for wheat that is just nuts um uh, sorry a thousand a thousand pound per thousand liter so a a, a, a pound a, a liter for wheat that is huge uh we can get 1200 into here that is about uh, it's going to take us about 10 trailers, I think, to fill this. Or 10 buckets to fill up our trailer. Our trailer takes 11,000 uh, litres. So we've not got a huge amount. Braking force is fairly extreme on this at the moment. That's all right. Let's get this loaded up. And then we'll go and sell it. And we'll see how much money we make. This should be uh, about right for topping it off. Let's have a look. Uh, we are 96% there. So one more tra uh, one more bucket full should do it. Uh, not be too difficult doing this. I was worried uh, that we were going to have um, a hard time doing this. But to be honest, it's not been that bad. We've uh, It's taken us about nine uh back and forth uh to do this and just topping it off is doing okay so yeah another 71 percent. so we've got the rest of this uh well the rest of this to get sold as well uh, but that is most of our canola let's jump in our other tracks just check our fuel level we are good uh so where are we taking this this is going up to grain co grain co is located ah, not far from us just around the corner uh it's unfortunate though that we've got to go all the way out uh, and round to get it but we should make a decent amount of money on this what is our current amount yeah one uh 1306 that is awesome that is immediately going to allow us to buy the BGA. And there's there's twofold reason why we need the BGA. Firstly, uh, we have the... Uh, we, we've got a whole load of bales up there. So we need to go and sell those uh, and get that sorted. But secondly, the BGA has digestate. And we have no means of creating uh, an organic fertilizer uh, 
well we we have some manure but our horses create very little so we're looking we're looking for some organic fertilizer because we have turned on precision farming on here today I want to say a big thank you to GB Modding uh, for sending me the updated version of the Farming Agency edition of this map. Uh, that includes the precision farming stuff included in it. Um, we are going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing precision farming going forward on here. Uh, so what we need to do, if we have time today, we might start scanning our fields, getting hold of a field scanner. But I think mostly it's going to be next episode next video we will uh get the field scanner get fields or get some of our, our more important fields scanned and then start getting some digestate spread on them i'd love to get them plowed and ready for the next season so as soon as we hit uh seeding next year we can uh but to be perfectly honest i don't think there's going to be much opportunity in fact i'm looking at the temperature the ground temperature right now uh and it is zero degrees so it is freezing at the moment we're not looking at, at having really um, an opportunity to uh, to get that stuff done. Uh, I've driven past our target because I was thinking about the BGA. That's all right. We'll come up to here. We'll reverse out. Traffic's a little bit light early winter, thankfully. And head back. It's just in here, so that's all right drove right past the entrance and we'll turn in tip this uh, and it looks like we're going to make about 20 25 000 on this stuff uh which is uh which is frankly awesome so open that up and back this in and hopefully we'll make ah the amount of profit on this come on there we go yeah i think twenty-five thousand is probably the most we could make on here from this but that is still a tidy sum from a much smaller field than if we were doing a contract on it and it's one of these this is one of the questions i always have is that we were making twenty-five thousand on a, a contract field uh, easily. What's that? 14,000 off uh, 11,500. Perfect. Um, and I'll just I'm trying to work out whether, you know, us owning fields and equipment and all this is actually more cost effective than just contracting the whole thing. And I think and overall it probably is. Um, but I don't think there's a huge amount in it. I don't think there's a, a massive difference between the two. Uh, but let's get back down to the farm. We'll get the uh, next lot loaded up. And uh, and let's go and see how much this lot is worth in total. Last full bucket of canola. We've got one more little bit to get out of the barn. Uh, but that's... That say that's a good few litres. Uh, we need to make 25,000. We need about... Uh, seven, seven to nine thousand liters in here. I, I haven't done the exact workout. Uh, I don't know if I've got that much, to be honest. I think we've probably only got, uh, five, maybe. Uh, we should certainly be over 20,000, uh, for the canola. There we go. But, uh, it's good that canola has come right today. There was no way we could have sold it uh, last game day. 5,300. So not too bad. We're not, we are not going to make the 25,000. But we should make... Well, we'll easily make 20 because we've got 5,000 litres in here. And we made at least 14,000 last time. But that's uh, that's really good. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with that. Uh, it gives us a really, really good... Uh, amount of money going in we're, we're looking at we're looking at being at 70,000 now when, before we started the carrots last time uh, and before we went and bought and hired all of that equipment to get, make the carrot harvest work uh, we had 
uh, 95,000 I think it was uh, we have almost made that back uh, in just two crops having purchased a whole uh, two new tractors for a start uh, which is incredible so uh, I'm really really quite pleased with how that's gone and uh, and how well we've done on here we're going to be buying the BGA next. So I'm going to get... So we'll, we'll see how much this makes. Uh, and then I'm going to go back and get the 7840. Uh, get the bail spike on that, which is down at our... Uh, down at the horses, I think. And we might deal with the horses, actually, while we're down there. So we'll take the bucket back down that way. Uh, we'll take a bucket full of oats with us. Um, because of course we have oats now uh, that we can and we need to well over the winter we will sort out switching around where the soybeans and where the oats are stored uh, we're going to be selling a lot of our oats over the next couple of videos because uh, we need to uh, it'll bring in some more cash uh, especially as we can't sell the soybeans until early next year uh, and the price difference for soybeans selling in the spring versus selling in the winter is uh, absolutely ridiculous. They're worth about twice as much. So uh, here we go. Here goes the canola. And the last amount. It does take a while for this cane trailer to actually tip. Just going to reverse up a little bit. Get rid of our uh, green. There we go. Nearly 7,000. We are up to 73,000. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's a really nice amount. I think we are... Well, that's that's 21,000 of this, at least. Harvest income. Let's have a look at what our harvest income was for today. That is uh, under money. Today, 20, what, nearly 22,000. 45,500 yesterday. 21,000, 22,000 today. That is absolutely brilliant the farm is going really well Forty-five thousand. the carrot field of carrots made that's why carrots uh like potatoes and sugar beet are so good you can make so much money off them really a time consuming to do but you make so much money off them uh so uh yeah let's get this back down to the shed and then we're going to pick up the 7840. And uh, I'll have a bucket of oats and we'll head down to our horses. We've got the 7840, a bucket full of oats, and we're headed for the horses. Let's bring this in here. I th we may have some oats down here already. But if I, uh, if I don't transport things down here when I can, then I'd be a little bit remiss. Uh, there is our combine harvester. Uh, that needs to get wintered as well. Uh, because obviously we don't want to leave that out here during the uh, the winter. So let's bring this. Now this is going to be the test for the 7840. Will it fit under? Well, it's not so much this bit. It's the exit that I'm worried about. So we'll see if this fits under here. Our horses are pretty happy at the moment. Yeah, easily fits under there. Uh, no grass about though. And they're still chomping their way through that hay bale. There we are. Plenty of oats. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't need that many oats. That's the interesting thing. Uh, so we're going to be able to sell off the vast whoops vast majority of what we've got, and uh, and make money off those. And oats are good because they're worth a lot of money. Uh, but how much do the horses take over two days? Let's have a look. Uh, 328 litres. So, yeah, not that much over a two-day period. Uh, with six-day seasons, that's about... A th let's say it's about 1,000 litres uh, a season. Uh, so, we need about six... Is that 6,000 litres? Right, we've got oats in the corner over here. So we'll just dump these here. Those are the soybeans. Right, there we go. Uh, so we need around about 6,000 litres. Uh, no. No, no, 1,000 litres a season. 
uh, means we need about 4,000 litres. So that's uh, that's pretty good. That's a good place to be. We need some carrots now, so let's grab those. Uh, we're going to have a similar calculation to do with those. Uh, I reckon it's going to be a similar amount as well. So let's uh, let's just grab this bit here. And yeah, we dumped a trailer full of carrots here. We've still got a pretty good price for the carrots for the next couple of days. So we can thin down exactly how many of those we keep. Um, and I'd quite like to get uh, some boxes to put this stuff in. 3,000. Yeah, that's, that is about right. Let's see how much carrots the horses take as well. So again, not expecting more. Oh, there we go. Than about 300 litres. And pick them up. Let's see. Uh, oh, 459. So uh, if we call that for safety, uh, 500 litres every two days. Over a six-day season, uh, we're looking at one and a half uh, thousand litres. Uh, so over uh, four times that, we're looking at three. We're looking about six thousand litres of these as well. That is not bad at all. Uh, we have more than that sitting here, so that's good news. Uh, that would take ten boxes though, uh, as opposed to just having a nice big pile here i think we've got about 10 10 11 000 liters here so uh, we've got more than enough carrots thankfully as well uh anything else that our, our horses need yes they need uh fresh grass uh hay horse silage um or uh they need water and they need straw right so let's hook up to the water and get that done next it's already 20 to 2 in the afternoon. But these are more immediate, uh, their requirements, than, uh, oh, than getting the BGA sorted. The BGA is something we can sort fairly quickly, although it'd be nice to have the money overnight this game day. Uh, I really, really want to get the horses sorted first. There we go round the big difference between the 5000 uh ford 5000 and the 7842 course is the fact that this is a bigger tractor so maneuverability around here is a little bit more difficult but on the other hand it does at least hook up to this trailer properly uh, which is the problem that we had last time so we should be able to empty this water out. I think they'll take a good amount of this. And there we go. Wow, they're going to take all of this. How much does that leave them with? Ah, oh, it's close enough. Uh, only marginally uh, out. So reverse this back up. Okay, so yeah. Bigger tractor, definitely more issues maneuvering it around the horses. But otherwise good, no problems at all. There we go. We could always get something smaller later on. And GB sent me this over. I should have removed these posts. <laughs> I might yet do that, seeing as, seeing as this is essentially a custom version of this at the moment. Uh, because uh, I added that I had to add the crops in for precision farming uh, because they they weren't quite there yet um, it's uh, it is a custom version of this map at the moment so I might just remove that uh, that small horse jumping arena it doesn't do much for us here am I in the trigger I'm not the trigger is right out here I might uh, alter that as well um but yeah the trigger for this water is right out here and you've got to get the front of the trailer in it to fill it there we go right now we just need to put in some straw and switch over let's put 
the bucket here. Oh, I don't want any soybeans. We do need to restack these soybeans. So uh, we'll get to that later. That's not a hugely important thing at the moment. What we do want is the bale spike on the front, which is over here, and the straw blower on the back, which is over here. Oh, actually, we've got hay bale over here. We'll grab that and feed them that as well. Although, actually, they have the hay bale, don't they? They have a hay bale sitting in there that might need repositioning. We do just need to remember that we've got this hay bale in here. Yeah. Get the horses done first. Keep them going. Keep the money coming in from them. Because part of the reason why we are able... Or we were able to buy tractors and things is because we have this constant income coming from the horses. Uh, and we are now able to, uh, to afford things like new tractors. There we go. That is fully done. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we don't have any horse grass or any horse silage. And I think we're going to have to buy some in. Uh, we have missed our harvesting window. I don't think that's going to be um, that's going to be able to be cut again. And you can tell how much better this tractor is weight wise because we don't need to stick the giant weight on the back to do the uh, to do what we've uh, what we had before but i am going to stick the weight on the back for what we're about to go and do because we are going to go down to the bga we've got a little bit of time left today before our sun sets and uh we can go and make some money and we're down to the bga and we've got a nice pile of bales here waiting for us so what we need to do first, of course, is get this purchased. So heading over here, and its price is 53000 So we're going to be left with 20000 Perfect. Let's buy that. How much is that little swath of land over there? 60000 for those two fields. That's not that much compared to the 443 for that there. Um, 18 and 19 would be good choices. Oh, looking at the layouts of this land. Oh, please tell me we are not in a... Oh, look at that, though. Field 11 is absolutely brilliant. And field 10 is absolutely incredible. That is great news those two though i think are a good target for us next um but we bought the biogas plant but uh yeah i'm looking forward to getting our fields uh, analyzed and checked because it looks like we've got a really good pair of fields uh for us here so our, our yields going into year three are looking like they're only gonna go up and yields, uh, with our yields increasing like that, we are just going to make money. Absolutely brilliant. Without without knowing it, we've bought the, the right set of land. That goes in there like so. And because we've got the weight on the back, this should be easier to pick these up. And, uh, and get them in, and, uh, and we should be able to load them fairly quickly. How many bales have we got here? We've got six on this side. Uh, six... Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 21 bales. I remember when we dropped these off, we said we got 21 bales. Uh, which was, yeah, which was more than a third of the total bales we got off the field. It was, uh, it's been a really lucrative contract that led to this. Uh, but we want to get these loaded up. And then next game day, we're going to see exactly how well off we are from dropping all of this silage into here. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, should be pretty good. And in future, well, in future, we won't be able to drop them straight in. But we will be able to get a very quick turnaround on this. Because I'm going to hold on to the VGA. As I said, we can use the digestate from it now. Uh, which will be very, very useful. We can also use the silage clamps uh, to make money for us as well, because we have way more bales than we need. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, maybe a forage wagon 
is a good upgrade for us next. Grab one of those and fill, well, use the grass field that we've got to uh, to fill the silage clamps and make money that way on here as well. Uh, all good, really. It will. Uh, we're looking at being fairly well off going into year three. What an amazing way to be, having started with absolutely nothing on here. There we go. That is the last bail in. Uh, that has given us... Yeah, that's done as well. Uh, we'll see how that processes overnight and uh, and see what we have. 20,759 plus we own the BGA. Uh, I think that's a pretty good day's worth of work. We've uh, we've done well. The sun is setting now as well, so it's going to get dark here soon. Uh, we're going to leave this here as a result. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.